Hello to Maryland's beautiful 8th Congressional District and all of our friends beyond in the rest of Maryland and across America and the world. It's Congressman Jamie Raskin coming to you um, this uh, second week in July for my favorite time of the week, Local Heroes. And we've got three amazing local heroes for you. It's a rather melancholy, bittersweet moment as three of the five regional directors for uh, Montgomery County's government will be leaving us on July 31st. But all three of them have been deeply, passionately engaged in working with our communities, working with homeowner associations, working with businesses, working with schools, and of course, working with other parts of the government to make our communities strong. And um, the people I bring to you today are part of the backbone of what makes Montgomery County such a wonderful place um, in which to live and in which to work. So I want to thank all of them for being our local heroes this week. Um, Luisa Montero Diaz, uh, who is uh, in the up county. Um, I'm sorry that she's in the um, wait. Am I correct that you're in the mid, up county? Mid county. Mid county. Mid county. Kathy Matthews, you're the up county. I always get those two confused. So Kathy Matthews is our up county. Luisa Montiero Diaz is in the mid county. And of course, our friend Rianberto Rodriguez um, is in the Silver Spring Regional um, uh, Division. And the three of them um, have been uh, all working for years and will be leaving uh, at the end of July. So um, Luisa, well, let me start with you um, in the mid county. Um, and um, you've done uh, such uh, amazing work. I know that you began your career um, in the Peace Corps, the, the toughest job you'll ever love. And you've brought a lot of that same kind of commitment and uh, passion to um, the work that you've done with Wheaton. I know, for example, you've been deeply involved in the revitalization of Wheaton, creating a, the arts entertainment district, the parades, uh, the HOAs and so on. Um, but you've done that all over. Tell us what this job has meant to you and the things that you'll be most proud of as you look back on it. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Raskin. It's a real honor to be with you and with my two colleagues here this morning. Um, so I, you know, I, I think I, I happened to kind of come to Wheaton and to Mid-County at the, the right time, kind of the right place. And that's when Wheaton was really at the cusp of this new redevelopment. So over the course of the last several years, the focus in downtown Wheaton in the urban district has been uh, to make way for this new brand new facility, this brand new building, 14 story building, housing close to 900 uh, county and um, parks and planning employees and a community town plaza named after a wonderful beloved activist, Marion Fryer. We'll be celebrating her tomorrow with the plaza dedication in fact. So just being in Wheaton at the right time, uh, connecting with so many civic associations, so many wonderful people that despite the ups and downs, despite the challenges, I, I can really say uh, that I've loved them. I've loved every one of them and um, building trust with the community, working side by side with them uh, through thick and thin, that, that's something that, that I leave that with many, many fond memories. Oh, that, that's beautiful. Well, thank you, Louisa, for your, your great hard work um, Kathy, let's come to you. I know you've been um, deeply engaged in uh, the libraries and the rec centers and youth development and uh, working with young people. Um, is that going to be an important part of your legacy there? And what are the other elements of your service that will, um, you know, will come to mind when you remember your time with us? Thank you, Congressman. It's great to be here with you. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Yes, um, there have been a lot of things happening in the northern part of the county, which is very large. And uh, unlike some other areas, it is um, represented by some rural uh, areas as well as um, more urbanized communities. Um, so what I, I'm going to really miss um, is meeting all those people from different walks of life and 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 all of the different um, all of the different opportunities that that come with uh, all those different communities. We have a very diverse community up county. Um, as a matter of fact, Germantown uh, has been named, uh, I guess, for the last several years as one of the most diverse communities in the country. And that's exciting because that's bringing a lot of energy and a lot of new ideas. Um, I, uh, I've 
been very proud to have been a part of finding locations for many of our public facilities. These are facilities like uh, libraries, recreation centers, um, fire stations, police stations. Uh, the Up County has been one of, uh, well, the newer part of the county to develop basically. Most of the population has been in Silver Spring, Bethesda, Wheaton. Uh, so, you know, we still have new communities popping up in the northern part of the county. So I'm really going to um, miss working with the community and, and identifying, you know, what their needs are and then helping them find the answers. And one of those being also youth development. Um, we have a lot of great youth uh, in the community and in Montgomery County, and uh, I really enjoyed helping them find their legs and, and uh, leadership in their own communities or schools. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what some of them will do. Well, that's wonderful. I know, like Luisa, like Roberto, you've been um, a real uh, force of empowerment for the young people in the community. And I wanna salute you particularly for doing that and always keeping the young people um, in mind when we talk about government services and structuring opportunity for people. So thank you so much for that. Um, Rimberto, let me come to you, my friend. Um, hard to believe that you're leaving since you've become so inextricably interwoven with the life of Silver Spring, working with the small businesses and the schools and the, the community groups and the HOAs and so on. Um, but tell us um, you know, what you remember from your time doing this and also what you think about the, the position that you hold like Kathy and Louisa, like what, how do you how do you think of this? Like what your role is really all about? Uh, well, thank you. First of all, thank you, uh, Congressman, for giving us this amazing, uh, humbling honor, honor to be able to to, to, to do this. Um, look, I mean, it's it's been twelve years working alongside and learning uh, with uh, members of, of of the many neighborhoods throughout Silver Spring from. Littonsville, the Woodside neighborhoods, uh, Four Corners, uh, uh, Long Branch City, Tacoma Park, Tacoma Langley, and it's it's really been that, that what I what I am taking away, if you will, is is that amazing uh, love of community that so many people have, and and together we're really strengthening and creating a welcoming environment, not only in downtown Silver Spring but throughout the region, and and that has to be the 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 best of sentiments and feelings, and and and, and also working with uh, with the businesses, large and small, and and the commitment of folks to to invest in the area and really make it a go. And the the future looks bright for Silver Spring. Well, that that's wonderful to think about. What what about your guys' future? Um, it's hard to think of any of your communities uh, without you, but. Um, what, what is the future hold? Are you going to be um, leaving, moving, moving to some other uh, context in terms of public service or in terms of private sector? What are you going to be doing? Roberto, why don't we start with you and we'll work back the way around. Real simple. I mean, I, I moved here at Silver Spring 17 years ago, uh, right after the uh, that Cicada incident. and now retiring uh, after this recent Cicada incident. And Geraldina, my wife and I are looking forward to 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 living Silver Spring and and the and the region. We're gonna be here, and and personally, I look forward to to working something that's passionate to me, which is the connection, uh, uh, people to people connection with uh, Cuba, as well as enjoying my my grandkids uh, locally in T Ball and things like that, the libraries, <laughs> being around. Being around. Well, uh, partly because of you, we've got some great amenities for people who've got some time. Uh, the libraries are amazing. The recreation uh, department's amazing with all the community centers and parks and stuff. So that's wonderful. And I know um, your family's originally from Cuba, so you're going to find a way to reconnect Absolutely. and stay in touch with people down there. Great. Kathy, what are your plans? Oh, I like uh, Rimberto. I plan to stay in the area. I'm a native Washingtonian and grew up in Montgomery County. So this is where home is. And I'm planning to spend a lot of time at the beach and with my grandchildren and actually taking part in some events and classes, things that I've always encouraged some of our residents to do. Now I get a chance to do them. So I'm planning to. Uh, well, how awesome is that? I love to hear it. Um, and Louisa, what is your story? 
<laughs> my story is that actually just a few weeks ago I got married, um, and so that's gonna mm -hmm. uh, of course be a a focus and and also became a grandmother for the first time uh, with a new grand baby boy who's just 10 days old today so i'm i'm gonna have lots to to focus on um i'm also actually one of my passions that i've utilized much many many times in this job is i'm a mindfulness meditation instructor so i'll be spending more time teaching meditation and doing some meditating myself i hope so uh not exactly retiring from activity that is awesome. Well, um, we're going to have to do some mindfulness and meditation for uh, everybody in Congress with you. Maybe I'll bring you down there and get everybody to, to focus a little bit and let go of some of that partisan venom. Um, well, look, um, I'm thrilled to know everybody is going to be here. Montgomery County is a great place to be a kid, to grow up. It's also a great place to have kids and a great place to have grandkids um, and to think about retirement. And uh, it's meaningful to learn that all of you, after having spent so much time working here in the community, are going to stay in the community and to be contributing um, and benefiting in different ways from being here. But uh, Kathy Matthews and uh, Luisa Montero Diaz and Roberto Rodriguez, you guys have gone way, way beyond the call of duty to uh, make Montgomery County the, the splendid, flourishing, vibrant place it is. For that reason, you are our local heroes. Uh, this week in July, and we hold all of you close to our hearts, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you so much.